welcome to the testing world here we are going to move forward in the project so as of now we have a test suite smoke test suite and all the services that my my web service is providing we have added into the smoke test suite so because that is a smoke test suite we just want to check my services are running or not we are not going to add many assertions over here but still we can add one assertion or two assertions just to check that services the basic functionality of the service is working or not so i'm moving to my test tab and here we are going to add a basic assertion which is we can say not contains uh, i'll add a not contain assertion in which we are just going to check we should not get error in result so we can add it this non contain assertion we are going to ignore case so we should not get error in the result so by this way we can add basic assertion in all the test steps so as of now we have one test suite so what i'm going to do we are going to execute this test suite from the command prompt but we we are going to execute this suite conditionally so here first i'm going to manage a excel file so now i have excel so here we have step id step name status status means you want to execute it or not and at the end data which data you want to use while execution so i'm coming here my step 1 is this i'm taking the name of it and that is by step name 1 by this same way we are maintaining all the name in our file so we are going to execute it conditionally so i am just copy pasting all the names just copy it and because i want to show it completely so that's why i'm adding all the steps copy it again so these are my step names so i can mention like that is step 1 step 2 and in the same way we can add it to the step 10 okay so you want to execute it or not so i am setting yes no yes no yes this time i want to execute the smoke test case and whatever you want to set you can set it over here now moving to the data in this get countries we don't have any data country by code say yes we have a data that is ca that is a country code country by currency code so i am taking input from there that is so i'm using currency code is dzd all currencies so we don't need to pass any data get currency by country so i'm passing canada get currency code so it's going to return all the currency codes get currency code by country name so again china and then gmt by country so china and then get isd so i'm going to check what this isd is going to do so again it needs country name so i'm passing the country name to here and that iso country code by country name so again it need country name so what i'm doing so here that get countries all currencies and get currency code these three services don't need any input data for rest of the services we are maintaining this input data i'm saving this and saving to any location so in my c drive i am creating a folder that is soap and here i am maintaining as a smoke frame so saving it so as of now we have created a framework file in which all the services that we can hit in a smoke testing are maintained and we can conditionally execute like a particular test service we want to execute it or not so moving to my 
soap ui here i'm adding a groovy test step so groovy script test step i have added a conditionally execution conditionally execution added it and i'm taking it to the start so now i'm going to write a script for reading the data from the excel sheet so whenever we want to read the data from the excel sheet so first we need to create object of the file so new file and here we need to pass the path so c drive soap folder and that's my file then we need to create the workbook object so def wk workbook dot get workbook and here we are passing object of the file then worksheet so def ws and wk dot get sheet which sheet do i want work on i want to work on sheet one okay now i want to check how many rows are there so by this way we find out how many steps we have in our test suite so row is a ws dot get rows now for def i is equal to one i is less than r i plus plus even we need to start it from the zero but we are starting from the one because the zero row is a header row we need not to go for this we need to work on rest of the rows so we are starting from the one now first i want to check this data so i am creating the object of the cell c1 and ws dot get cell here first we need to pass column so column is two because it's a third column so i'm passing index two because it started with the zero so zero one two and then i so if c1 dot get contents equals ignore case y so i'm picking data from the cell and comparing with the y by ignoring the case if it's a y means i want to execute it so to execute this first we need to pick data from the this sheet i am creating c2 and whatever data here is and i want to set this data into the property because as of now we don't have data but we could have data so whatever the data we are picking we are storing into the property so i'm setting this data into the property of test suite so test runner dot test case dot test suite set property value i'm using it as a test data and then c2 dot get contents now we want to run any test step so this and here i'm taking the column name is one one means we are picking the data from this column so test runner run by name run test step by name what is the name so name is c3 dot get contents importing import java dot io dot star port jxl dot star so running it here i want to check what all the test cases are executed so here on the left hand side we can see few of the cases few of the steps are getting green and rest are skipped i'm moving to excel and here we can see the first step was y that is executed step 2 was no so not executed 
step 3 was y executed 4 was no not executed 8 and 9 were not executed so so we have controlled what all the smoke test steps or i'll say what all the services smoke services which i want to test i'm explaining my code again so what i'm doing first importing the jar as we have already covered how to read data from the excel sheet so we are doing the same thing over here first we need to create a file class object then workbook worksheet in the worksheet i'm finding all the rows so when i'm running for all rows all the rows so it will return 11 because we have 11 rows indexing of the rows will be 0 to 10 so here because my zero row is a header row so i'm running my loop from the row one because actual data is starting from this particular row now i'm reading the content of my status column so i'm passing two because it's a third column and it and index is two so we are checking if the content of that column is y then read the test data so my test data is here and set this test data to the test suite property so i'm coming here that's my test suite and in property it is getting set and then i am checking which step you want to execute so that is column one so that is the step name is this and test runner dot test step by name running the particular test step by its name few more updates that is required is like as of now all the test step has its own data so what i need to do i need to pick data from the test suite level so i'm setting it to the test suite level so every time now it's going to execute by picking the data which is coming from the excel sheet so everything is done so one more thing that i want to update like I don't want to execute these steps every time. I'm just disabling it. I'm going to execute only this conditional execution. And if my step is yes, so it will automatically call that step. So we want to call all the step by this script only. So rest of the steps I have disabled. I'm coming to my suite, running it. It's going to execute my Groovy script on the behalf of the Groovy whatever the step we want to execute only the particular steps are going to be executed here we can check only the particular steps are going to be executed execute some other steps like i'm coming here and starting five steps or five services i want to test rest i don't want to test in smoke testing i'm going to cover only first five services so i've added it and I'm running it again and here we see first second third fourth and fifth are executed rest are blank so first five are executed and rest are blank so you can see your it over here as well step one is executed two three four five and then that is my groovy script which is ended if you want to check data so we can double click on that so first service is not getting any data second service so i'm coming uh, second service it is picking ca and we can go over there we have mentioned ca i'm coming to my third step so it is using djd even we set this djd over here so everything is done on soap ui level in next part we are going to execute this from the command prompt.